Hello everybody and welcome back to the legacy of the Rimlin. Last time, kind of, which is kind of uh, as usual, come to think of it, we left on a sort of cliffhanger. But we, before we go and solve that little cliffhanger, I'm going to ask these lovely people to, as usual, introduce themselves and talk about themselves a little bit. I rolled some dice in the background. The dice have decided that Chantel should go ahead and introduce herself and her character first. Can you please go ahead, Chantel? For sure. Hi, I'm Chantel. I'll be playing as Angel, who's a mute peasant boy uh, who's after his kidnapped sister, and he's a little battered at the moment. We'll have to take care of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Though, if like alternate realities are a hint, um, maybe your journey will have a positive ending, I guess. Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> maybe with less <laughs> dancing, though. Okay. <laughs> um, if people don't know what's go what we're talking about, this video is technically posted in on like April 4th, 5th, something like that. Uh, go check out what we posted on April 1st. Fun stuff. <laughs> okay. Next, according to the dice, we have Ashen. Can you hello, please... hello. Oh, yeah. Can you please go ahead? Yes, uh, I'm Ash, and I'm playing as usual as Elona. And she would almost apparently take a bullet for Miku in this universe, at least. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. I, I really hope your interactions with with Miku aren't slurred by the other thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Ashen. And next we have Delhi. Can you please go ahead and introduce yourself and your character? Of course. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Delhi, and as usual, I am playing as Moonin. Um, they are a scholar, a traveling scholar from the University of Brightsland, uh, and they, in this, at least in this universe, um, I think they're getting a bit sort of cocky with the whole sort of like uh, stealing books thing, <laughs> you know. Yeah, <laughs> which kind of sparked our cliffhanger, as I mentioned. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Delhi. So, as I was sort of alluding to, uh, last time you guys con continued to investigate um, the monasteries and whatever knowledge they had on uh, the subject of these orbs, ancient orbs and the remnant, etc., etc. Uh, Ilona had a fairly pleasant reception i suppose um the nuns at the monastery she went at were pr fairly kind to her they even gave her some free wine um there was a lady at that monastery who was not a nun who asked her to deliver two letters and um ilona read them both one of them was a very sweet message to the prince of the country the other one was a coded message so who knows what that says um but before she could, like, enjoy the fruits of, of her labor, um, Miku <laughs> spilled some drinks on himself and decided, hey, I need a new shirt, I'm gonna steal one. He tried to steal one off some mercenaries. Ilona had to bail him out with the majority of her money. Uh, now Miku's feeling miserable and they're drinking together at noon, I should say, uh, in a tavern. Fun stuff. As for... Hangel and Moonin, um, you guys continue like researching in your uh, monastery. Moonin got the urge to steal some books, and he did, uh, though this led with a confrontation with the monk that was sort of supervising him. The monk beat the crap out of Angel before you guys could pacify him, um, and now you... Well, the sort of scene we left off on was like, you guys convince the monk to stand down and he's just like sitting there crying at this point over like being violent in a holy place. You guys are trying to like run out or like sneak out or whatever. I don't like want to put words in your mouth. But Moonin, you have two very big, very heavy books in your bag and it's not impossible to hide them, but it's basically impossible to really hide them. Um, so I guess we'll see how that goes uh now before we jump into things one question uh well actually i should also turn on the background music but while i do that question who should we visit first 
Ilona or Angel and Moonin? I would like to see what's going on with Angel and Moonin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. Sweet. Sure thing. Solve the cliffhanger. Uh, okay. Angel and Moonin, as I mentioned, you were sort of making way from this monastery's... The proper word is scriptorium, <laughs> um, but basically it's archive and like storage place for manuscripts. Um, the monk that was supposed to be supervising you stayed behind. Um, and yeah, you're just sort of making a, your way out of that. Do you have a plan at the moment, like go through the front entrance and try to like sneak the books through, hide the books somewhere, sneak through the, uh, some sort of back entrance? If you have like any questions about like the layout of the monastery, you can also ask and I'll answer to the best of what you know, <laughs> let's say. Okay, that makes sense. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think it'd be very wise to go out the back, uh, sorry, the front door, because I assume yeah. there'll be, oh, obviously, I assume they'll, that's where most of the monks will be. Um, as far as al like alternative routes, I don't suppose there are like are there any sort of windows that can be open and closed, um, discreetly. <laughs> yeah, discreetly specifically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun fact: like this is based on like a seven in the seventeenth century of a, a certain part of the world. No windows there, just like open okay. holes. What? <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Inse open holes in the walls, did you yeah. say? Insects and the oh. winter are a big problem. But yeah. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Um, but just to like um, briefly describe what you guys do know of like, the layout of the monastery. The monastery, think of it of like. Uh, I'll actually draw a little bit on uh, screen. So if I may get your attention. The monastery, think of it like. There's this outer wall area. This is mm -hmm. the church itself. And along the wall, there's like various um, places where like the monks have their, uh, whatchamacallit, houses, etc. This would be the main gate. And the scriptorium would be like one of these uh, hovels, let's say. On the back, uh, there's the city's cemetery, basically. Oh. Makes sense. Okay. The part Can we escape sounds... through the cemetery, maybe? It's an option. I'm just saying that's like the part that's like not walled off, let's say. Right. So oh, it's I was say up. that really looks like a, a sad face with the long nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> While I was drawing it, I thought, oh shit, this looks like, some, like something in SFW. I'm glad you think it looks like a sad face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, sweet. So, I think... So, as far as my plan of attack, I think it would be wise to try and escape through a hole in the wall and then uh, sneak out through the cemetery because that's where I feel like the less... That would be sort of... There'll be less um, resistance, if you know what I mean, there. Yeah, I agree. And as far okay. as I know. I mean, also <laughs> keep in mind that these are like monks. You can like beat them up pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, one mic took down Angle. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Just a bad day, I guess. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, I guess Moonin also has a force full of zero, so a fist fight is not to his advantage. Their advantage, mm. my bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Well, okay. So you're trying not to, like, exit through sort of the main um, exit of the scriptorium, the main door, but rather, like, jump through a hole in the wall, pretty much. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's roll... Um, can either of you roll a careful to see if you'd find a um, hole in the wall that's, like, big enough? Um, before we do that, Mm -hmm. Would it be worth 
So if I rolled, would it be cool to if Angel assisted me? Yeah, actually, that funnily enough, that's what I was gonna say. That whoever okay. rolls the other will assist because you have the same careful. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, uh, I don't mind rolling in that case. Okay, if, if you, go if, for it. Unless you want to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Here I go. Oh, that was a low roll. Free. Um. I'd say you find a hole in the wall that you can like fit through, but it's a tight fit. It will require some rolls, and you risk getting stuck. Getting stuck? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh... Okay. Should uh... we try? Should we try it? I also, think so. I should mention, um, all these like holes in the hole all all lead into the courtyard just like on different angles so you you would be like avoiding people who would be looking directly at the door to the scriptorium but not like general people in the courtyard make sense that makes sense oh okay um also i'm sorry Deli. i'm sorry Deli. just to like briefly mention um like only the monk uh, that's currently cr we crying his eyes out it knows that something's wrong uh, no other monks know that something's wrong in fact the vast majority of monks have a very high opinion of you it's just that moonin's bag is very very noticeable that it has stolen mm -hmm. stuff in it Ex yeah exactly um, okay could we i'm just thinking i uh, i know we just rolled Probably not, because I know we just rolled to, like, look for an, an opening. But I'm just wondering, like, if if we want to escape through the courtyard, I was wondering if I, if we could have a look specifically for an opening that's on, like, this side of the scriptorium, if you know what I mean. So, like, mm -hmm. we go, we essentially end up, uh, more or less in, like, you know, closer to the, to the, um, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I don't even think you need to roll. I'm willing to say that this uh, opening you found that you can squeeze through, but it would be up to a roll of the dice and it would be risky, does end to the more like unwalled section of the monastery, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um... Okay, so, Angia, what do you think? <laughs> Should we try to get through this uh, opening? I think so. Okay. Um, in which case, I don't mind you going first if you want to. Yeah, I was going to ask, does it matter, like, is... Because I described Angle as big, does that matter in any way? <laughs> like, I do wonder... I think I would ask you, like, either way to roll me carefuls. Uh, well, yeah. carefuls or, like, quick if you're trying to rush. Assuming you're not trying to rush, it would be careful. <clears throat> you Let's both, assume that. <laughs> you, bo you both have the same careful currently, so mm -hmm. none of you will be, like, more advantage i don't know what's the right term than the other okay. okay okay cool yeah i think i think we'd i don't think we would be rushing necessarily um <laughs> so yeah i mean yeah angel if you want to go first um, okay i can do that let's if you don't get stuck yeah <laughs> that would suck <laughs> is is this another thing where we can do an assist or, or not really? Uh, yeah, and I, yeah, I would actually even recommend that you do an assist because you have to like the the quote unquote opening in the wall isn't like at your level. You have to like jump up a little bit if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So if you helping Angel jump up or Angel helping Mooning, yeah. Uh, with that roll show and so, yeah, you would definitely be, Angel would definitely be able to squeeze through no issues. Um, but can you give me a sneaky roll to see if you, like, you would be noticed while you're doing that? Okay. From any monks in the court. Okay. 
uh, you see that there are monks in the courtyard. Some uh, they um, s there's like two of them tending to the um, garden in the courtyard, the flower garden, um, and you see two others locked in conversation from your angle. That is, but you would be able to like hop down uh, into the courtyard itself without like rousing their attention. Okay, hey, awesome. good start. Yeah, good start. <laughs> Now, um, bef before Moon and Rose, um, like, I will allow you, Angel, to assist Moonin, but how would you assist Moonin? Like, describe it to me narratively, please. Okay, so, like, the hole is, like, higher than I am, right? Yeah. Like, mm. it, well, if you, like, um, reach out with your hand, you can, like, grab the hole, if that makes sense. Oh. Okay, so I can help pull him through. Mm hmm I guess. Um, yeah, unless I, you know, maybe there's something to step on. I don't know if that helps. Mm, like, you would like have to, like, bring it to, like, find, like, a chair or a table and then bring it to over. There are chairs sense. and tables around the courtyard, or is it something that I need to bring from? Um, give me a careful and just to see if you see any. Yeah, I think you would see some chairs. Um, apparently there are some like wooden wooden chairs for like probably the head monk to like sit in and, and admire the garden you would be able to oh. like go and take it and bring it but you again risk being seen if that makes sense so do i need to roll uh sneaky as well if you decide to do that okay let's start let's try without a chair and see if mm -hmm. we can <laughs> Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> Moonen, give mm -hmm. me your careful to see if you manage to squeeze through and Angel will be assisting. Okay, perfect. Oh, no. Um, I'll say you managed to get through, but... Um... I give you I give you a choice. Either like um you accidentally drop your heavy bag on Angel while you're doing that, or uh you make noise and I'll ask you to do a sneaky roll. Up to you. Um Well so if I made noise, would I be at a the sneaky roll would be higher than it would be. It would have been for Angel, for example. Not necessarily. Basically, um, there's there's two options. Either like you yeah. drop the thing on Angel, which would count as an attack against Angel, and I would ask Angel to defend, or um, you make noise, and I would require you to make a sneaky roll, and I'll oppose with a generic monk. Careful. Okay. Um, I think. It would probably because my sneaky is quite low, and I'm sorry, Angel. Um, <laughs> but Angel because also, I, uh, keep in mind, like a level four consequence or a level six consequence, both last for a very long time, so it's a pretty bad injury to get. Okay, that's that's if Angel fa fails to yes, counteract yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, this is hard. This is a hard decision. To I can make. take my chances. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. I would that also would, that would either be a clever a clever or a quick if like for example the bag fell on angel and angel had to like catch it i imagine that would be either um, a, a quick or a careful if angel decides to catch it angel could also decide to like sidestep it i don't know punch it which yeah. would be forceful i don't know <laughs> <laughs> punch <Okay>. the box <laughs> i don't know that, that makes sense damn knowledge <laughs> um, so, uh, show and tell, if I let the books fall on Angel, um, how would you sort of counteract that? Uh, just, just for your information, I, like, for the attack part, I would ask you, Moon, to roll quick, because I'll say you're rushing, and, like, because you're rushing, it would be a quick attack, okay? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, uh, so if I try to catch them, was that would that be a careful by any chance? Uh, yeah, careful or quick. I would leave it up to you to decide. Okay, 
Definitely careful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so d did you want to do that then? Yeah, we can do that. Cool, okay. In which case, yeah, uh, I... So narratively, Moon in... The strap falls out of... Falls off of Moonin's shoulder, for example, maybe. Mm, yeah. And it and it's heading towards Angiel. Uh and it would uh, yeah, like you say, it would be a quick. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Let's just hope this is works. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Uh very <laughs> nice. <laughs> funnily enough, um Angel, since you succeed with style, aka more than a three point difference, you also get an advantage. Woo! Ooh. Would you like Advan your advantage? Advantage oh. against who though? Like advantage against Moonin or the general situation of catching books, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> hey, um, what would you like your advantage to be called? Uh, safety net. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, oh I like that one. Okay. You have your advantage. Yeah, um, nice. <laughs> hmm? So, after this little mishap, um, in the, and especially since you succeed with style, you manage to, like, catch the books without them making noise. Um, also, because Moonen has, like, some other stuff in his bag that would probably make noise, you manage to do that without making any. Moonen also also makes his way down. Uh, what now? Again, from your angle, there, pro there might be more from, like, different angles, but from your, your angle, you see, like, um, two monks say over here taking care of the garden and two monks like over here having a conversation okay um would it look odd to them or suspicious to them if we were in the courtyard like if they caught us in the courtyard walking toward the cemetery probably not like the the big suspicious thing is the bag not the, yeah not necessarily your okay. presence not necessarily your presence okay um i think well i mean first of all i'd ask angel for the books back <laughs> bye uh, my, my, precious, that cost my precious so well <laughs> <laughs> thank you angel um but apart from that um i think where sorry, where did you say the the first group of people were? Were they yeah. in the court? Yeah, basically the like gardener people. I actually draw instead of pinging. Um, okay. The gardener people are where I drew this G. The conversation okay. people are where I drew this T for talk because I already have a C. Okay. Um, and you guys that... are here. Yeah. In that case, am I am I allowed to draw? Uh yeah. Uh just don't oh. do it don't do it excessively please cuz no I won't. <laughs> um, um to do it. You know you have you see that little menu of icons to your top left? Mhm. Mm you see you have a brush at one point and if you mouse over it you should have an option of freehand. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think I've got it. Yeah, so I think you do something. I did accidentally. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it though. Um, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Um, it's the you green. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. I can't um, see that far up, but yeah. Okay. Um, so I was thinking maybe hugging the wall where, like, here, and then like going around like that, maybe. So like that way. Um. Sure. Uh, just this is just to inform you uh, going down that way would mean you would like go back into the city but not like into a road but rather once again through people's backyards oh no oh no <laughs> oh yeah we have bad, we have bad memories <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more old people yes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so out of curiosity uh would there be is that the same case if so where the sea is if we went like i would say like northeast towards where the letter c is on the map would the that letter, be the same the letter c is the monastery cemetery so there are no houses there okay hmm 
But if you try and... to like make a run for it where the T is, that's there are also houses there. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, okay. So we should like go straight and then kind of cut uh, around or something. I think. Yeah. What well, straight towards the sea and then cut around? Uh, what mean? I mean, there are farms there. I think on the a east side, east side of the cemetery. Uh, what are, what are there? I didn't hear you. My bad. Uh, there are farms there. Yeah, or... there are. There are. Fields, okay. I'd say, not farms. Fields, so. yeah. Okay. I don't know what to call them, yeah. Um, yeah, I see what you mean, okay. Yeah, we could try... Uh, we could try that, so... Sort of in the direction of the sea, and then eventually turning towards the fields. Yeah. Yeah? I think. Also, like, can Angel kind of walk... Like, kind of basically shield Moonin a uh, and a little from the pe from the monks, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and then yeah. that would be an assist or something. Yeah, um, sure, if that's your plan, I would. Well, first off, I would ask, are you like running, rushing, or just like trying to appear nonchalant? Oh, nothing to see here, definitely nonchalant, I think. Yeah, like acting casual, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I would ask, uh, Moonin's holding the sack of books, correct? Mm hmm I would ask Moonin to roll sneaky with Angel assisting, and I'll roll a generic monk careful to oppose, okay? Okay. Oh, your sneaky is uh, lower, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed. But will Moonin yeah. give up his books? Um, I know from Moonin the character, probably not. But I mean, I know, like from my <laughs> perspective, that like that is the advantage. So <laughs> try to maybe, may, I... maybe, sorry, not to interrupt. Maybe narratively, from Moon's perspective, it would look less suspicious for uh, no offense for um, Angel to be holding books, maybe because Angel maybe wouldn't have motivation to steal them. Like, if you know what I mean, I don't know. That's like like if he was caught, they wouldn't. They, I mean, yeah, they probably wouldn't. Um, although I was gonna say, oh, they wouldn't second guess it because you wouldn't have had. I think to taking them it. out of the scriptorium or something. I'm sorry, I don't remember what it's called. Um, scriptorium. Yes, um, that's the building name. Yeah, yeah. I think that's already kind of suspicious. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> i tell you what, I think I'll hold on to them because putting them in a satchel anyway is probably, like, beneficial regardless, like, narratively or or otherwise, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, so in that case I'll roll, you say it was a roller sneaky. With angular assisting, yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, good. Oh, Not good hey. enough. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Do would you like to spend fate points to improve your role? Um, you also have Angel's advantage, or shall we go forth with one of the monks seeing something odd? If um, if we use the advantage, I need to explain how or something. Um. Yes. Uh. Like like with any other aspect. Um, but this disadvantage being like specifically tailored for this situation should be easier if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. But up to uh, you again. Um, failure like is not the preferred option probably, but it doesn't like mean the end of the road. So yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just books. Sorry, sorry. Don't let one in hear me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's gold-plated books, like they're worth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. True. Okay. Um, um. I would probably. I wouldn't mind spending a face uh, fate point. Um, I mean, I I can use the ad advantage. Does the same thing? Does it? An advantage will work the same as like a regular aspect, except that it doesn't use fate points. I will mention, uh, since this is Moonin's role. Moon and yeah. has to spend the fate points or the advantage, yeah. um, and he can spend Anka's advantage. Though? Yeah, that's what I was okay. gonna say. That 
show and tell, you have to agree to pass this on to Moomin. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Convoluted, okay. but that's the system. Yeah. No, I feel you. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're 100% cool with me using the, the safety net advantage. I mean, yeah, it's, it's there for the books. So okay. we should use it for the books. Okay. All right, thank you, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't mind using the advantage either. Um, just so, like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm guessing you're basically using the fact that Angel is a big boy shielding you to improve your role, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd imagine so. Okay. No. Okay, then I'll remove that. And yeah, uh, like one of the monks like seems to like look in your direction like uh, who are those people but then he realizes oh yeah they were admitted by the abbot and oh yeah they're uh, good people and then he returns to his, to his conversation um, you're a bit too far away to for them to notice that your bag is misshapen okay awesome thank you thank you <laughs> awesome before we g go into the cemetery, shall we check up on Ilona? Yeah, we should. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Ilona, um, you're in the presence of a very, very sad <laughs> Miku drowning out his sorrows. It's noon again, by the way. Um, you, previous session, you encouraged him not to, like, down all that strong alcohol in one go. Uh, <laughs> and he, and, he listen, and he listened to you. Um but he's still feeling sad and he's crying. The bar the, bar the bartender lady is just like shaking her head and cleaning cleaning the plates, uh, not really trying to, definitely not trying to get involved with your con your thing. All right. Um. I would like lean down so he can see me. I guess he has it like head down while crying, and be like, "Let's go to the market to cheer you up. That'll help." My, I'm, I'm really, really so sorry about this. I'm really so sorry. Shut up about that. It's all fine. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we go to the market if he's willing. I mean, he will follow you. He's the pet of the party. He will follow along. He just like will be sobbing along the way, which will like attract some looks. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, as you uh, leave the tavern, you already paid the bar to the lady. What are you doing with, uh, if you remember, Miku out of his own money this time? Ordered like the strongest drink on the on that the tavern lady had, and she brought it like in a bottle. Um, mm -hmm. Miku opened it. You told Miku, "Hey, don't like down it." What do you do with the bottle? Uh, I guess I'll bring it. Okay. Uh, do you, like, try to jam the um, cork back in, I guess? I guess I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, careful, I guess. Oh, awesome. I have to roll on this. <laughs> careful. <laughs> pretty decent, huh? Yeah, yeah. And you jam it You jam it back in. Good, good job. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do you hand the bottle over or do you keep it? I keep it. Okay. Uh, sure thing. You leave, the, <laughs> you leave the tavern. The bartender lady says, Come back soon now. Market days are usually discount days. All right. She really is such a nice lady. <laughs> yes, right? That was a really nice place. <laughs> I'm so sorry again. <laughs> Think to the future, Miku. Think to the future. Right. He will, like, remain quiet, but, like, still sobbing along the way. All right. <laughs> okay. As, uh, you proceed to the market, correct? Mm hmm The market is at the center, in the, like, center of the town where you see Joseph's icon. I'll actually move Miku's icon closer as well. And... Um, you see that lots of people have like gathered up. Um, you heard from the not 
I was about to say the previous day because I was thinking in terms of sessions, but no, it's a few hours ago. <laughs> you heard, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's a slave market today, fun, fun times. And uh, I explained to you guys earlier that the slaves are either a, an ethnic group that's kept almost entirely enslaved or like prisoners of war. And considering that a war just ended, you will find both categories today at the market. Um, and as you approach from the distance, you hear the typical shouting of a market day. You see uh, the slaves shuffled more towards the like northern corner of the market, uh, while the southern corner is filled with like produce and um, food stuffs and all that good stuff. And obviously, like pottery, anything else that you might find at a at a marketplace. Mm. Um, you will hear that there's some like commotion shouting coming from like the slave section but you can't quite make it up for, out from your from where you're at but i leave it up to you where do you head or if you're looking for something or someone okay um <laughs> from Alona's perspective i think she'd see the food stuff and immediately like look for something there hmm. miku will follow along uh yeah you will see various mm, uh, since it's close to harvest season, well, actually the harvest season is pretty much starting at this point. That's why people were bugging Hankyo in the first session. Um, yeah, you'll see also all sorts of like um, produce, like mo mostly corn and like and like grain, but also but also veg vegetables like cabbages, eggplants, all all that fun stuff. Not a lot, and well, you'll find some stuff like cheese and eggs. You won't find a lot of meat. It's mostly vegetables and like, uh, what's the term for like grain and corn and all that? I think there's a term for that. Oh, you get what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, there goes my plan to cheer Miku up with the squirrel crap um i mean uh, squirrels aren't really a common dish let's say <laughs> i guess um then i don't think like i'm gonna ask miku if he's hungry i guess oh no 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 please uh, anything let, let me buy it and he like shuffles through his pockets and he like like he shoves his hand down one pocket and you see like his expression turned to one of like horror. He, he mutters, "Shit, um, um, uh." He like shuffles through the other pocket. Shit, and he like pulls pulls out uh, something from that pocket. Feel free to like roll a careful to see what that might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And he shoves it in the other pocket and like messes around a little bit and eventually he'll like pull out a hand and you'll see he has about five courage in his hand which isn't a lot i just asked if you're hungry, hungry man we we don't need to buy anything i'm pretty good uh right uh well we, we, the um afina did give you supplies i guess so there's that yeah is there anything you want to check out here at the market? Um, weren't, um, wasn't Joseph supposed to be around here? I guess. Like, Ilona puts, um, like, cupping her ear, listening for singing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a careful. That act no! Come oh, on. No. Not quite. It, not, uh, like, how should I say this? Not necessarily joseph isn't there but rather there are so many crowds that you can't tell if he's there if that makes sense okay. uh, i guess we'll just tr stroll along and like see what we find but also since it's a market and Ilona is pretty like paranoid i think she would like keep hyper check of her belongings and miku can you give me a careful role to like uh, create an advantage against being robbed i guess all right Please work this time. <laughs> it's sufficient. It's sufficient. What would you like your advantage to be called? Um. Uh. That's hard. 
to signify the fact that like you're like watching your pockets in your bag you're not letting like pickpockets get through which is a legitimate concern especially in such a crowded setting yeah i guess anti-pickpocket sure <laughs> sure <laughs> Okay. As you stroll around, um, can you give me a careful roll for no reason? Oh, finally! Yeah, you see a, a little a little girl trying to reach into your pocket. Um, I slap her hand away. She, you do that, and she runs off in the other direction. Nice. Slapping little girls, nice times. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Again, in this like sort of sudden portion of the market, you mostly find like produce and stuff and stuff like that. Not and again like pottery, maybe tools, maybe some weapons. Who knows? Are you looking for something in particular, or are you just like strolling along until you reach like the slave section of the market? I'm basically looking for Joseph, I think. Okay. Uh, I'll allow another careful roll if you'd like. Um. Shrug. All right. You tell me where you want to go at this point. I guess more to the uh, slave section. If Joseph is there. Sure. Um, yeah, you wander into into the slave section where you will mostly find like the more richer patrons uh, of the market because ordinary people can't afford slaves. Um, okay. And yeah, you'll see like you'll walk by um, a big s a set of like scales meant to weigh humans um, as macabre as that sounds. Um, yeah, and you'll see various scenes of like um probably like a, pr a priest uh, saying how how much how much for the father i'm not interested in, in the child you can keep the child and they're like haggling over the lives of people and you'll also wander wander across like um not just like the ethnic people that's held, held as slaves but also like prisoners of war uh that are dressed in like tattered military uniforms and you'll see that for the most part, like the prisoners of war are being sold by the mercenaries you encountered earlier. And they're not being like bought as much. Sure, they're like more fit than like the other people, but they, you'll hear like rumblings of like, oh, if I buy that, that one and like uh, the government of Zemile here ransoms him back, what am I supposed to do? I'll lose my investment, etc., etc. It's all very callous stuff, but that's the reality of the world, unfortunately. No Joseph in sight. Give me another careful. You don't hear any singing or signs of Joseph here, but as you, as I mentioned when you were sort of approaching, you hear, you heard like some agitation, like some something was happening. Oh, gosh. Shouting. And <laughs> you don't recognize Joseph's voice, but you do recognize John's voice. Okay, I, I go that way. Mm -hmm. And you will see in front of a group of prisoners of war, you will see Jean fiercely arguing with uh, this gentleman that I just shuffled in. Again? Oh, shit. They're arguing in the Ziemi language, which you don't understand. But you can make the connection that, oh yeah, these prisoners of war are Ziemi. Jean is a Ziemi. He's probably yelling at them for t to be released or something. And that guy is not budging. What do I do at this point? I don't know. I guess I ask me Mika to stay behind for a bit while I go in, because I don't want the... Are, are, dude. are you cr are you crazy? He might kill you. Yeah, but you know, have faith in me. Look, if you, I'm not, 
I'm not going to let you go go in alone uh, unless unless you think him seeing me might make him angrier. Sorry, what was that again? My brain just went blank for a sec. <laughs> he said, I'm not letting you go alone unless you think that mercenary leader guy seeing me might make him angrier. I think it might make him angrier, honestly. Well, what do you want? What what can I do to help if if I can come with? Um, keep watch of pickpockets and uh, trouble in general and uh, stay here until I come back. Okay, um, you'll find me here. See you soon. He looks defeated as you proceed. <laughs> okay. You proceed again, you see, like, Jean yelling violently at this mercenary captain, and the mercenary captain, captain yelling back, again in a language you don't understand. Uh, and Jean is being, like, very, very foolhardy because the mercenary captain also has like his some of his soldiers nearby and they're like readying their weapons at this point oh crap uh i get closer and i be like what's happening over here jean looks at you says something in ziemi to you that you don't understand and um the mercenary leader says in like the rima language you again what the hell are you doing here are you with Good him to see you again <laughs> uh i'm just here i i think i met this guy before and i i think i want to yeah have a word with him well, get, if you want to get him off my hands, fine. Go ahead, lady. Um, I go to, like, grab John, I guess. <laughs> like He's still yelling furiously, and one of the mer mercenaries says, What the hell did you just say? As he I, I go to, like, cover his mouth with my hand, and, like, keep a, like, really plastered smile on my face, like, yeah. <laughs> Give me a full <laughs> throw, because he will try to remove your hand from his mouth. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Turn of events. <laughs> I we remember so. that he was totally oh, oh, we clean, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, tying an overcome roll means, um, Ilona, you succeed, but something negative happens. Yep. That's fine. Or you fail. Your choice. I will succeed. Okay. The negative event. Something kind of deja vu, like you put your mouth over Jean's mouth, and he and he like stumbles backwards, and you like walk with him back, uh, walk with him forwards, uh, and as he does, he bumps into someone uh, whose firearm discharges. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> and let me roll Sean's quick. My Sean. <laughs> and like from your perspective, Ilona, you like put your mouth your hand over Jean's mouth. He like like looks furiously at you. You accidentally shove him back, he falls backwards. You bump into another mercenary. You hear a gunshot, and suddenly through, like, your hand on his mouth, you hear Jean screaming in pain. Um, I want to know where the wound is. I, like, look around. You clearly see a bloody leg. Thank God it was the leg only. Um. Serves him right. I now get like... him out of here, says the mercenary leader. Okay, I would go backwards, because um, I guess he will follow me by this time, uh, to you get help it? from Miku. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, he, he, do you still keep your hand on his mouth? I actually do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Miku will rush in your, in your direction, because he saw the situation unfold. 
Um, let me roll the mercenary captain's careful to see if he notices Miku. He does. And he says, ah, Thieves associ associating with traitors around here, I see. We will just ignore him, I think. <laughs> um, Miku, like, also helps you drag Jean away. Uh, and you do. Though I will mention that you're, like, dragging him away further into the market at this point. Nice. <laughs> um, is there anywhere, like, can I just look around if there's a place less crowded or where we can, like, tend to the wound? Sure. Um, basically, sort of, like, um, on, like, the outside rim, so to say. You can, like, set Jean down there. Um, and, yeah, if you take your hand off his mouth, he will start, like, screaming in pain. If you do that. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good idea, honestly. He already works up such commotion. I mean, do you also do you plan on keeping it there forever, though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try to, like, comfort him verbally. Like, it's fine, fine. We're gonna fix this. As I, um, I guess try to find something I can wrap the wound with like to stop the blood give me a careful or, or unless uh, are you using like stuff from your inventory or stuff from your surroundings I guess like just ripping a shred of Ilona's coat or something mm -hmm. sure um, then still give me a careful to see if you do a good job <laughs> ah man my careful's today um well um as you begin to wrap around him, you realize too late, oh yeah, there's still a bullet left in him. As you like push the bullet deeper as you're wrapping that thing out, he moans out in absolute torture <laughs> at this point. Can I just ask like where in the leg is it? Is it like the, the calf? Is it the thigh? Um Let me do a roll. Thigh. Left thigh. Left thigh, okay. Um, I asked Miku, shit man, I suck at this. Can you help? Can you, like, treat the wound? I've, uh, we, we can t uh, take him to a priest. He'll, um, they, they might be able to manage, or um, f uh, we can use en Essence of Sunflower, I guess. Essence of Sunflower? What is that? Um, well, you take a sunflower and you mash it and you, um, all the while Jean is screaming. And Miku, like, goes on to describe a process that you're not really sure is a correct process. It sounds ludicrous, but he says it with confidence. Mm, okay. And I try to, like, if, if the bullet is so, like... You did um, push it deep and push it in deeper, the bullet, funnily enough. Can I still try to pop it out? <laughs> it, I'll ask you to do a careful roll, but it'll be a difficult roll. But like how deep is it in can you still like see it? Yes, but you have to go digging. Ah. Ouch. I'm not trusting my rolls today, so I'll think you'll I'll let him be with that. Um, um, is there like, apart from the priest, is there like a healer or something? I guess they have healing magic, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, then I, I think I try to like prop him on one arm and Miku takes the other arm and we try to go to a priest. Would you be heading through the market or through, again, people's backyards? Oh, good question. I think the market is a really bad idea. Also, the like shortest route through the market would once again take you through the slave section. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you have like any opinions on this? 
Uh, how long is the long route through the market? Like you'd have to like push your way through crowd crowds. It's not like a long physical distance. Like you could get there in like five minutes if there was like no one around. But there's people around. So maybe they can. Like, is the market really big? Can they kind of surround it? Kind of. Uh, the market is surrounded by people's houses. That's what. I, that's why I was saying mm. like you can right. go for the market or you can again go through people's backyards. Okay. And the road there on the map, that that's like full of people. Or uh, which one can you ping on a map? Is it the uh, right click or left click? Uh, hold down left mouse button. All right. Oh, you're not quite there. You're more where the icon of the mercenary soldier is, if that makes sense. Okay, okay. Like you're about um, here, if you can see. Okay. Um, I, just to put my two cents in, I suppose, I don't know if I would personally go through people's back gardens, um, because it's kind of like um because it's kind of like random whose back garden you end up in i think right it so, will be random yeah 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 so i feel like that would be you might get lucky and you, uh, like the first time we did it and it's just old people that <laughs> <laughs> old blind people that can't speak or whatever but it, <laughs> you might you might also end up in a guard's back garden or something like you know also um like Jean, if you're not like holding your mouth on his hand, uh, on uh, holding your hand on his mouth, my bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's <laughs> screaming. Uh, so being st stealthy isn't really an option, unless you're like doing it in a very convoluted way. I feel mm. bad for John. Ultimately, I think it served him that I keep it down. <laughs> feel bad about this, but I'm going to put my hand. On his mouth? Yes. He will attempt to punch you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wow. How do you defend yourself? I grab his arm before he punches. That sounds like a forceful defense. Romeo forceful. <sighs> he smacks you, you take one point of damage. Oh no. I'm like, shit man, you want to help or not? He's... In the midst of his screams of pain, he's yelling out something in his native language that doesn't sound particularly nice, but at the very least it doesn't like seem to be necessarily aimed at you, but rather the world in general. Uh, I guess I go to like... Um, help him again, but like, shit, man, get your shit together. He, as you approach him, he like looks at you and yells out something in his native language. Okay. So he lets me help him, or is he still like... He sounds furious. Um... We don't... Ilona's just like... We don't know the language of the fairies. And that's what troubles me. Like, people around do. He might be saying a bunch of horrible shit. He probably is. But... <laughs> I don't want him to stir up more. D do you know a way to, like... Can you calm him down a bit? Uh, I'll try. He starts singing, like... A lullaby meant for children. It's not helping. That's very cute. <laughs> ba it basically, go to sleep, mommy's baby. And he's <laughs> yelling out in pain and presumably obscenities. I love him. You know what to do. Um, I guess the first step is to calm him down and like try to be there and present with him like explaining that we're gonna take care of it and we're gonna help him. How? 
I don't know, like... Also, I forgot to refresh my fate point, so I'm gonna do that. My bad. Ah. Carry on. I we don't know. We can, we can also return to Angel and Moonin while you think on this. I... Sounds good. I need some time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Ash, oh, not Ashen. Delhi and Shonto can also offer suggestions, and uh, Ash and you can offer dumb suggestions as well. So, Angela Moonen, you find your way through the graveyard. Um, the graveyard is mostly empty. Like, there are some people, like, paying respects at certain graves, and um, you'll see, like, a couple of monks here and there, like, praying over a specific grave or another. But they're not, like, paying direct attention to you. So, unless you're, like, heading in their specific direction, I won't ask you to roll sneaky rolls, okay? Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what's your plan? Well, like... <clears throat> um... That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> I, I mean, thinking... when, in, when in plans to just like carry these books around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking maybe. So, if 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 I'm allowed to draw on the map, like the actual map with all the icons and stuff like that. I um, do, um, but like, try not to draw like over the actual icons because that that would make it more difficult to delete. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, sort of going through the cemetery, cemetery this way, and then taking a right, coming into the fields, and perhaps like going back into the city, like either through here. Or through eventually, like here, if that makes sense. Uh, um, yeah, like, are we going to the market? Because, um, because I think they could use our help. Yeah, not that we know that, but that's true. <laughs> to be fair, you, um, do, you do know, like Jean and Joseph told you, let's meet back up at the market. Yeah. Okay. okay. In which case, then yeah. Um. Yeah, but we so, need to like round the whole. Like we need to. Yeah, you'd need to make round it once again, uh, or go through people's backyards. Yeah. Yeah, we don't yeah, want to do that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I yeah, I don't mind rounding instead of the backyard thing, or, or <laughs> you know. It, it'll just take a while, right? Yeah. Like that's, yeah, it will take I mean, some time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we don't know that they're in a real. Like, they're having a crisis. <laughs> Ilona is, anyway. Correct. <laughs> um, uh, like, the only thing you really know about the market is apparently there's a slave market to, going on today. Um, <laughs> and... I, I mean, may... I think... Like... Like, you did... Uh, did does Angel know that there are uh, prisoners of war, like, in a slave market? Like, I think he the... would like to check it out. Just to see, you know. There usually aren't prisoners of war in a slave market, but given the fact that a war just ended, you can presume that. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah, in any case, An Angel would like to... I mean, I think it makes sense for him to check it out. Again, I should mention, like, you, you're, you and your family more than certainly don't have the wealth to purchase a slave. Um... It's up to you if you have a habit of just, like, checking out the slave market. Up to you. But okay. Oh, I, you mean, like, he wouldn't know that? No, you would know. You would know. I'm. What I'm saying is that, like, you mentioned that Angel's motivation is, oh, he's curious to check out the slave market. I'm just saying. No, he's just looking for his sister, that's all. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's why. <laughs> okay. Fine, sure. My bad, my bad. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my all, all, all the time, I was like, oh, okay, maybe she's here. Okay, she's not here. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> okay. Um, so, 
uh, you make your way through, through the fields, you would see that like the fields around the cemetery are mostly manned by uh, slaves. And if you'd like hear them talking around, you'd hear that they're slaves of the monastery. Um, and I... Like, it's not usual for people to be wandering around fields they don't own. So, um, do you have like a excuse in your mind or... Are you trying to be sneaky? What's your approach here? Uh. Um, I feel like we would probably... I feel like we would probably make up an excuse. I don't know if we'd... Like, yeah, especially because well... our, <laughs> our sneakies are relatively low. I mm -hmm. think we would... If we ever did get caught, we'd probably just make up an excuse. I don't know. Would you agree or, or not? Sure, but I don't know, like, if if I <laughs> if I need if, to come up with an actual ex excuse, yeah. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, suppose, I would ask you to come up with an actual one, yeah. Yeah, I suppose an actual one would be, um, I don't know, that's a good question. I think uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that, like, oh, we got lost and we're trying oh. to get, like, you know, we got, we're trying to get back into the, um, uh, into the city. Uh, we're not from here sort of thing. Like that, you know, that kind of thing. Wait, would that fly? Yeah, I'm like, not sure. <laughs> like I'm asking Turnor. <laughs> oh, hmm. yeah. I would ask you to, like, if you give that excuse, it would come down to a roll. It's not a, like, solid excuse, but it's not the weakest either. Okay. Okay. Um... How do you... What, what are you thinking? Do you, like, are you happy with that excuse, uh, sure and tell? Uh, I think so, yes. Uh, what what role would it be, though? Sneaky. Definitely sneaky. Oh, sneaky. Oh, interesting. Uh, so it's sneaky anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, <laughs> well, and since Argo can't talk, it would be Moonin's role. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Um, could we, could Angel, again, could Angel assist me in this? If he By can, making... if Sean Tell can describe how? Making exaggerated hand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't... <laughs> uh... I guess that might work. <laughs> <laughs> um, like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the... What's the word? I'm blanking on a word. I'm I'm bad with these. Um, when you're like, you like expect a group of people to act a certain way. Uh, ex Until anticipating. No, more like in the, this is a a bad word. Preconceptions. Preconception works, I guess. The like preconception about this like ethnic group that's enslaved and is working the fields is that they're even more superstitious than um, the Rima people. So Angel making crazy hand gestures might work, or it might provoke an argument. Okay, not that's, crazy. <laughs> I mean, that, like that, just... <laughs> that's the preconception. Doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily mean that the that these guys are like superstitious themselves. Okay. 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 Uh, stereotype. Okay. That's the word. Stereotype. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. No, yeah, you're right. Okay. So okay. Um. So maybe you can just kind of point toward the city, maybe, or like in the in a vague kind of like. Like, not crazy. Just, like, pointing and kind of doing, you know, this, uh, like, kind of holding his hands, uh, palms up, kind of, you know, kind mm -hmm. of asking, like, the way I just... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, as you start making your way through the fields, and again, you see several groups of, of enslaved people, like, wor working, and they all, like, they gradually, like, look up at you as you're, like, wandering, and you hear them, like, whispering to each other do any of you speak the Rashtra language uh, um, not me the language of I've... these local slaves 
Uh, I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if Moonin would. Would would there be any? Um, There's... Would it be something that is that is taught? Sorry, in the university. No, it in your part of the world it's seen like, uh, like, gobbledygook. Yeah, in which case, <laughs> in which case, probably not. Oh yeah. no! So we can't even communicate with them. Yeah. And one although, of... like as slaves, they don't learn the language of. I they, mean, to they, talk. They, they do learn like the language of the Rima, but they also have their own language, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um, a young man looks to be like in his uh, about fifteen or so. He yells out, "Oi, you're you're on the you're on the master's territory, the monastery's territory. What you doing here?" Um, Moonin would if uh, if you like if I go first or anything like that. Um, Moonin would shout, "Ah, uh, sorry, you know, my friend and I we're new to the city and we got lost. We're we're trying to find the market." You got lost? There's just feuds here. What, what, where do you think you're going? Uh, you tell you tell me. <laughs> yeah, you know, my friend here, you know... Like, Moonen would try and, like, make a joke, like... Uh, like, last, this last time I, I get my friend here to, to, to show, show us... Uh, to wander around or whatever. To lead the way, as it were, if that makes sense. Um, a woman, sort of in her like thirties, will say, "Oh, if you don't want me to t to tell on the masters where you are, give me a silver coin, a taller." Oh, which is um, worth about a hundred courage. Yeah, that's quite a lot. I don't think I have any. I can't remember why, but like, I think Moonin spent a lot of their courage like recently. Mm. Um. Can't remember what on, but um, oh yeah, I kept giving uh, the monk courage, <laughs> didn't yeah. I? Yeah, right, I <laughs> greedy. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll say that and... you might have like a silver coin on you or like a hundred courage, but it would come close to breaking the bank. Yeah. Okay. Um. And Angib wouldn't have it, would he? Your, we can count your courage at most in the like tens. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> nice. Um. How about? I feel like Moonin would say. Mm, that's you know th they would probably say ah oh, that's a bit steep isn't it like can't we make an right uh, can't we come to an agreement? Oi, give me one too, says the boy you were talking to earlier. And you hear oh. another voice. Hey, I want one too. These rich folk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. What you got in your bag over there? Says another one. No. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, I think Moonin would sort of pull the bag, like sort of kind of like behind them in a way, and be like, "Uh, look, listen. How about?" Um, you you all look like you all look like hard workers. How about I uh, I give I give uh, a silver token, like split between you. Like that's all I've got. Give me a careful, but this will be a difficult roll. Difficulty four. Oh no! Okay. Oh no. Eight points. Use him. I might have to. <laughs> um, could I? Um, could I use? So, if I used, if I was to use the fate point, could I uh, use the trouble that Moonin has? Very mm -hmm. distrusting and secretive. Yes, um, but how would to, that help you? To Moonin's being secretive about having because moon has in theory quite a lot of money on them mm -hmm. so they have really expensive books and they also have like the gold coins mm -hmm. so they're secretive of actually being able to pay them like a lot of money like if they like because they could you know if they wanted to even take it from them mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think that works, so that would push you to the necessary, like, above the necessary difficulty. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you say that, um, the slaves, like, start basically to mob you, to, like, brush in your direction all yelling, Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I think I will, um, like, talk, like, I would toss a couple of the equivalent Oh, <clears throat> excuse me the equivalent of a silver coin like split between three so like 33 33 33 i suppose if that's possible um sure i, you, I don't think you have like necessarily the time to like count it out but <laughs> sure <laughs> um yeah and yeah just something uh equivalent of that like moon and Wutos, the equivalent of um a silver coin how about, um, I have, like, a bit of a um, fun idea, I think. Um, I think you have, like, say, around 150 courage left on you, up just around that number. <laughs> how about we roll, say, a D120 to see how many coins you throw out? You're, like, you're, like, making a quick grab, basically. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want um, to do the honors, or should I? Uh, I think I'll be able to so it's roll slash mm. roll yeah slash roll space d120 oh okay there we go 65 okay um let me roll to see if they notice that it's not quite enough oh no <laughs> <laughs> mm, no they, they don't they make a scramble for the coins and for the moment you have an opportunity to make a getaway let's say okay in which case um moon and wood sort of like <laughs> like uh turn to anger and be like okay let's let's just go <laughs> <laughs> let's split yeah okay yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah you make it through while they're like rummaging for the coin for the coins on the ground um yeah you make it through successfully though i will say that like if like a monk comes by and asks them, hey, did you see two people like this? They won't hesitate to point you out. Okay. That's right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. We need to, to get the hell away from this, out of this city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, the, what, um, they would probably believe that you're heading to the east, to the border, not necessarily to the capital. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, you make your way through uh, the slave fields. You then proceed to the uh, to the fields of uh, several lo local peasants. Um, it, there, uh, well, when you reach there, it's just like one or two people at most. And even even if they do like see you, they just like look at you from a distance, like what the hell is that all about? But they don't like pay you any mind. And you would eventually rejoin uh, the or the road that like leads from the east into the city. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you're heading to the market with making the roundabout again, correct? Um. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um. There won't be like anyone. Well, I should say. What's your plan for, like, concealing the books? Because it's very obvious that you're carrying something heavy in a bag. Yeah, I was okay. wondering about that. <laughs> um, I think I would... Because I still have... Although it's not completely... Um, so I s still have... Moon and still has their cloak, but it's not... I mean, it's, like, slightly burned, but it's. I don't think it was completely ruined. Um, I think they would wear it like trying to describe it. They would they would wear it over the shoulder that also has the the bag like the side <laughs> that the bag is on. Well, um, that was your plan the previous session when you only had one book. With two, the bag will definitely sag. Okay. Um. Oh, I think a, a good question. Maybe I'm. Just remind me, like, so the first book very like is very fancy. Mm -hmm. The sec the second book is it really ornate and sort of uh, 
like as if if someone to were to see it from the mark like or would someone to see it sorry I'm stumbling. yes it's it's not gold plated it's silver plated so it's not okay. as valuable but it's still worth a lot of money okay because I, I asked because that was Mike. So if it wasn't very ornate, I think I would just give it to uh, to Angel to hold. But it, but considering it is, also um, books in general are very very rare around these parts. So it would definitely, even if it's just like a plain book, it would like attract attention. Okay. Um, I think. Do you know what? I'm not quite sure. I think. The one idea that does come to mind is that maybe I could I could hide it like somewhere and then and then and then come back to like collect it and find it, um, so that it doesn't because obviously if I don't go in there with them I don't have to hide anything because they're you know they're not on me, but I don't know again I'm not sure if that's a good idea because someone could come along and steal them. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not sure. What is, uh, what is everyone else thinking? Um, tricky. Yeah. Like, that seems to be the most valuable option, honestly. But I don't know. The question is if you can find, like, a really good hiding spot. Yeah. And also, it's still a problem because they, uh, at least the monk knows who we are so like i mean if if not i another option uh i could wait outside like um i could sort of wait outside like any kind of busy areas so that like do you know what i mean so that people so like you can you and gil could walk in and do and do you know whatever it is and i could just sort of wait outside and and like when you're done you can come find mm -hmm. me yeah, it's not going to help this DME, though. Mm. <laughs> True. <laughs> but... <laughs> um... um... If, uh... I don't want to... I'm not sure, though. Uh, what if I... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think the hiding spot is pretty okay. Yeah. If you, like, roll to find something, you can decide to take it or not. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Okay. So, yeah, so if I... So, yeah, like you say, I think Moonin would look around uh, to see if there was any good hiding spots. Give me a careful. Okay. Okay, yeah, you would probably find, like, um, a tree that has, like, um, basically... A squirrel hole in it, pretty much. <laughs> mm. Um, okay. In that case, I think... Yeah, I I, I feel like... In, in that case, I probably would uh, do my best to... Um, I think Moonin would try and put... If it can fit, Moonin would try and put the whole, like bag in there like not just the books on their own but the whole bag and then have like the, the a part of the bag like close the hole if that makes sense like hmm. i don't know uh they would fit because of your careful rope but give me a sneaky to see if it's a good uh, hidey thing okay oh no okay that will be the role to beat for anyone um, trying to find the books there. Oh, hey, yeah. No. Okay. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> um, so, obviously, my option now is... My options are take them with me or just leave them there. Or improve your role. Um, or improve hmm. my role. Oh, interesting. Uh, I suppose... I think if I were to improve my role, I think the aspect that would help with that is the the keeper of secrets, secret knowledge thing. Mm -hmm. Specifically, specifically the keeper of secrets part, because 
the books are technically like a secret in that way. Hmm? Sure. I accept that. Give me are you using it to reroll or to give yourself plus two? Um I think oh, what does everyone else think? I think I would I would I would say plus two. But I mean Yeah, it could yeah. be worse. You got, you <laughs> yeah, got exactly. the most average of rolls, pretty much. Yeah. And it could be worse if I I think yeah. I I think I think plus two is probably the safest option. Yeah. Okay, I I'll agree. do that. <laughs> Okay, I have written down that anyone like looking for the books in that spot will have to beat a difficulty free dice with that. Okay. 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 Uh, are you then heading towards the market? I think <clears throat> so. Yeah, I think so. Sure thing. Um, I would say that at the at this entrance to town you will also see a cup a couple of bored looking guards mm, okay um bored looking guards do they you wanna they don't appear to be like stopping uh the like local peasants who are coming to sell their produce for instance though so okay. they don't know yet that we <laughs> we wanted <laughs> Do you wanna um do you wanna approach them? Uh let's do that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Or not rather not approach them, but attempt to and en like enter the city like past them, I suppose. Yeah, just walk like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Casually. Angel, can you give me a sneaky with Moon in assisting? Okay. 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 Uh, you two, you two make it. You two make it past. They like just pretty much look look bored. You suspect they they might be they might like have an actual job to do here, but they're clearly not doing it. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. Perfect. And you will eventually make your way to the market. Meanwhile, Ilona, do you, have you come with, up with a solution? No. <laughs> No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Then what's happening? Can we find her, or do we like finding her will take time? Okay. Um, so I'm basically asking, like, what happens in said time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm grabbing his shoulders and trying to be like, "We're gonna fix this. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna take you to a place that can heal you up." He doesn't understand the words, but give me a careful I'll oppose with his forceful. Careful, yes. Okay, he's starting to calm down. Nice. Uh, the initial shock is clearly passing. Uh, what do you do? I, I guess... I take um, my way through the market, but not the most crowded parts. Like, I try to be a bit, yeah, keep it out of the center. Well, um, you basically have two choices. Either go through, like, the produce play market and, like, weapons, tools, stuff like that market, which is more crowded... Or grow through the slave market, which only has like more a handful of rich people browsing. Weapons and tool market, I think. I have a and bad feeling about John otherwise. And produce and all that. Okay. Sure thing. You make your way through. Um give me another careful with Jean, with not john with miku assisting it'll be difficulty to to see if you got like handle john gently okay okay just but you do manage to like handle john gently and not like drop him on his wounded leg or whatever okay oh gosh thank god mm -hmm. so you make you make your way through uh for the market with john like um 
I'm imagining like uh, both of um, you and Miku are like holding him by the arms and he's also like limping along, basically. Yeah. Uh, can you do me another careful check? Okay. You would eventually hear a sound, uh, a noise, really, that you can't quite place, but then you like, like, um, dots start uh, connecting in your head, so to say, and you recognize Joseph voice, Joseph's voice uh, singing in a very off-tune way. Finally. Off note, off note, my bad. I don't think... I mean... <laughs> Jean is shot. I don't think we would, like, um, stray our plans to get him help for Joseph right now. But I'll keep in mind that he was here. Sure thing. Uh, and as you make your way through the market, um, can you give me another careful check? No. Is... Is... Um, is... Um, Fuck, Miku is assisting as well here? No? No. Crap. Can I use face points? You can also use your advantage if you'd like. Yes, yes, I do. I do. Okay. Um, are you using it to give yourself plus two? Yep. Okay. Uh, then I will spend one of my fate points to reroll. I will spend one of my fate points. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me see what the reroll is first. Yeah. No. Okay. no. I will also spend one of mine to reroll if I can. Okay. Um, what are you invoking to reroll? Um, running from a past life. She has. Yeah. Fits. Fits. Give me yes. a reroll. Please come on. Two, two, or three. I'll use another one to bump it up by two. What are you invoking? Mm. Crap, what am I invoking? She is... I guess ha has a bunty on her head. She... she Keeps lookout. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so as you get a four to uh, that person's, oh, to that person's uh, free, uh, you see a little boy this time try to reach into your bag. I will smack his hand away again. <laughs> and as expected, he makes a run for it. Nice. Okay. As you continue on your way and rejoin your the main road, this will take a bit of time. So by the time you do rejoin the main road, I'd say Angel and Moonin would like bump into you. Because nice. it, it will take you a while to make it your way through the crowds. Okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? Hey. I mean, <laughs> Angus not saying that, but he's uh, looking it. <laughs> I'm like, Jean has been shot. We need to take the bullet out pretty soon, I think. It's in his thigh. Um, we're trying to get to the church and find some healing priest. Jean okay. yeah, says in his native language, which Moonen understands, a fucking mercenary traitor shot me. Fuck those people. They have some of my comrades taken prisoner. Oh, shit. Um, They're selling them in the market. I'm not leaving this town without them. I'll go by myself if I fucking have to. I think, he's loyal. Um, what did you say, sorry? I said he was loyal. Oh, he yeah. Was... <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I think Moonin would um, uh, probably relay specifically the part where there's... So Moonin would re relay most of that, but then emphasize, like, oh, I don't think he's going to want to, you know, I don't think he's going to leave without his, without, you know, his his friends or whatever. 
Does she have a death wish? Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking I'd like to be like, how do, like, how do you, if, if I could sort of speak to him in his language, I'd sort mm -hmm. of say maybe like, oh, how do you expect us to like, sort of, like, free your friends, like, your, your leg's really injured. <laughs> we charge in and kill them all. I don't think that's an option and then sort of say to everyone else is like I think this guy has a death wish <laughs> okay I'll just I'll start carrying like forward again I'm like we, we gotta check this out first yeah those guys um, right. you don't <laughs> you go I mean we don't want to run into <laughs> at the moment <laughs> That's true. Do, uh, the the church is separate to the monastery that we were just at, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah, basically, there's three churches slash monasteries here. The yeah. central one you first visited, where like you got some basic information. There's the women's monastery on the western side of town, and the western and the uh, eastern monastery, the men's monastery. On yeah. Okay. Um, What's the closest one? Is it the church? The central church one. Or the central one, okay. yeah. Okay, so yeah. we should head there, I think. But it's also like the poorest, like materially speaking. Oh no. Okay. Should I guess we... it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's what we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, in in that case, I think Moonen would say to the guy, "Be like, look, listen, we're gonna use sort of." Ch uh, to the, ch to the church um, and be like to, one of, to one of these people's churches? I'm not going there again. These people are heretics. Schismatics. Um, regardless say, regardless you're badly injured and, and you need help. Um, so I think no matter who they are, I think it's wise to help. Give me a careful. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. He easily relents. Like, he opens uh, his mouth as if he's about to say something, but instead of saying something, he yells out like a squeal of pain and then says, Fine, 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 fine. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. So we go there. Uh, yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. um, is it still Ilona and Miko carrying him? I'm going to definitely help. I can help. Like, he can help. If you need help. Yeah. Okay. Sure. The um, more the merrier. <laughs> okay. You, you make your way to uh, the central church. Uh, where you will see, um, you encounter two priests there, uh, an older one and a younger one. It's only the younger one this, this time, uh, and as you presumably walk in uh, with an injured Jean, um, Jean yells out, Oi, heretic, heal me! But only Moonen understands that. Um, <laughs> the priest like turns, turns around uh, and says, Oh, by, by the freeze, set him down, set him down, please. I'll, I'll see what I can do. We set him down. And at this point, I'm going to make a roll to see if um, the healing is successful. Oh, crap, that's some good healing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the priest kneels down and begins mu muttering uh, a prayer and... Before your eyes, the wound heals, seals up, and like even the bullet like falls out, falls out with like a plop. Oh, I got wow. three on the back for that. <laughs> <sighs> what happened? Do do we need to uh, alert alert the the prince's men? Do we need to alert any local boy? Or what happened? It was actually um not intended 
Like, he backed into a mercenary and accidentally went off. Oh. Nobody's fault, really. But yeah. Oh. Well. Oof. May, may the free keep you, child. Uh, he says to Jean. And Jean just, like, stares dumbfounded and says in his, in his native language, Uh. Wow, I did not expect that to work. Um. I kind of want Moonin to, so I think Moonin, if if it's cool, Moonin would be like like dumbfounded as well and just ask like how how did you do that? Oh I did nothing. The the free interceded and healed this man. I just asked them for help. Uh-huh. That's pretty <clears throat> Um yeah, Moon. I think Moon would sort of like put their hand over their mouth and be like, "Wow, like shit," you know. I am truly hope you. Uh, well, I wish you nothing but safety in your travels. Um, may the free bless you and keep you all. Man, yeah. thanks. He doesn't seem like too surprised by what happened. Pretty much, not necessarily that he like had faith in his own abilities, but he had faith in, like, divine intervention, let, let's say. Yeah, okay. Good on him. Yeah. <laughs> Jean That's attempts fine. to, like, stand up on the injured leg, and you see, like, pr him preparing to wince, but as he does, there's there's clearly no pain. Is right. Angu kind of used to this? I think he would be, right? I mean, maybe not this degree. I don't know. Um, this is definitely something special with a critical success. Um, <laughs> you've heard of cases like this. You've probably like uh, had cases um, people in your family who were injured and went on like a pilgrimage and returned healed up. But witnessing it firsthand uh, is definitely unusual. So he's also uh, very, you know, impressed. Um, Miku come, uh, comes up like kowtows in front of the priest and like starts kissing the priest's robe. <laughs> the, the priest looks embarrassed. Lona gives uh, Miku and the priest like kind of a weird look like, okay. <laughs> um, as we're joined up again, uh, I want to whisper to Moonin that I need some help with encrypting something, and I think he could help me with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's well, good, because we need help sneaking something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. I think Moonen would nod and be like, well, decryption and encryption isn't my strong suit, but I can, I can certainly help. Uh, and sort of like um, reach their hand out as if to like is it something that, that that's like on you like to like accept whatever it is if that makes sense um, we're gonna need to open this like in private no priests no screaming genres <laughs> this is this is valuable stuff okay. also, also above board like uh, moon and even if you like say take the letter and roll a critical success or whatever, it would still take you, like, time to decrypt. It's not something you can do instantaneously. Okay, that makes sense. Awesome. Uh, in which case, Moonin would sort of, like, raise their eyebrows, but just ultimately shrug and be like, okay, um, we'll, we'll sort this out another time. <clears throat> right. So what's the plan moving forward? We should get um oh joseph yeah <laughs> and also elona can definitely help with the sneaking situation yeah she can oh. <laughs> <sighs> looking at her stats <laughs> okay so maybe um, maybe angel can go pick up joseph and, or, like, I don't know. And uh, meanwhile, you can... 
Yeah, I would like I would relay that I saw jo Joseph there and that we should get out of town. All right, Vanga doesn't know where Joseph is, but I mean, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to like head to to toward the tree, like make sure that nobody found it or something? Uh, yeah, I think Moonin especially would be itching to do that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think Ango can go and look for Joseph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, like, meanwhile, head to, to the tree. Uh, we need to, like, agree where we're meeting, though. And what to do with John? If he's gonna, like, now when he's healthy oh, right. again, just rush in and get yeah. himself killed. I don't know what John is doing. Mm, yeah. He's, I, like, I, he's feeling I wish... dumbfounded at his wound momentarily. <laughs> mm. I, I whispered to, to Moonin and Angel, like, should we just knock him out? <laughs> <laughs> In a church. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll step outside that search. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think it will work because he's a whip. Honestly. And also, uh, that means that he's going to die if he goes in. I mean, we kind of knew that, but yeah. Yeah. He can't, yeah, he, no matter what, I don't think he should go in on his, at least on his own. Um. Yeah. So you guys are in on it? Sorry? Are you guys in on it then? Knocking I out. think so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. We uh we yeah, again we'd have probably have to take him outside first. Yeah. Can we like I mean I'm just asking above board because I don't know. But can we like say to him that if he get well I don't know. Like uh will he have any influence if he gets back to his court or something for them to rescue? I mean, it's more or less the same thing you're attempting to do in this scenario. Like, your current plan is go to the prince, ask the prince to, like, talk to the caramels to rescue your sister. If Jean currently wants to go in guns blazing and rescue his comrades, if you instead, like, take Jean to his court and ask his king, hey, can you intervene? The Ziemi king is more powerful than your prince, so maybe, but by that time the slaves could be sold off, who knows. Mm. Right, I mean, he saw that, like, oh, I feel bad for him. I mean, mm. he really cares about his men, but, um, but it's a problem, he can't, I mean, we... Yeah, I'm just thinking, um, not to, like, throw you under the bus, um, Ashen, or Alona, or whatever. I was thinking, like... Because Alona has a really high sneaky, mm -hmm. would would it be possible or even probable that like Alona could probably sneak in, like perhaps like th free like the people, um, and then like you know just sort of like you know what I mean like sneak in like unbind them whatever. I mean, um, sure, I could try, but I think like in the market where everybody has ice on them would be pretty low success rate, but I could try it. Yeah. It could also be a... I feel like because there are so many people, it might be... Um, it might even work to... I don't know, maybe. maybe Easier not, to blend in. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. It might even work to your advantage, maybe, but... I don't know. For now, at least. Um, I, I think... We sh I mean, we should definitely think on it, but like for now, we should probably like head out of the church before maybe before we do anything else. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Okay. Just for context, um, again, Jean is like staring dumbfounded at his wound. He's a bit stunned at the moment. Miku is like grabbing the priest's robe and he's saying, "Please, please say a prayer for my mother and my sister and my uncle and my cousin. Her, her, her name is Angela." And she's he's like ratting off a, a list of names, and the priest looks, um, not embarrassed. What's the word? Um, surprised. I don't know by yeah all this. Unsure how to react. Overwhelmed. <laughs> Good word. Yeah, overwhelmed. Yeah. Um. I think. Uh, I think Moonin maybe would probably like walk up to uh, um 
approach him and be like, the, the, come on, like, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> like, like stand up, we're, we're leaving. No, uh, right. uh, sorry, um, pl- pl- please, Holy Father, um, please. Uh, and the priest says, I, I will, child, D- uh, don't worry. The, f- the, free no- the free know regardless, and they will protect you and yours. And Miko looks like visibly very happy and relieved and will willingly walk outside. Okay, awesome. Okay. As we walk outside, I like, uh, I turn to Miko and be like, it was a pretty good day after all, huh? Oh, uh, oh he <laughs> suddenly remembers all the bad stuff that happened and says, Oh, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, if you say so, um, I'll find a way to pay you back, I promise. I think we just smile as we walk out. Angela Moon and I don't know if you know or care to know what they're talking about. Uh, no, not, not, not necessarily, no. I mean, it's me cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just assume that something. <laughs> just assume. I think Mo- Moonen would just assume that Miku got up to no good, <laughs> which is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jean will like start. Oh, like oh, right, something's happening, and he will like follow up with you uh, after you, and he will say, "Hello, what's the plan? Again, I'm I'm not leaving this town with all my comrades." Are we out of the church now? And I just attempt to sneakily dunk him in the back of the head. <laughs> Knock him out. Yeah, give me a sneaky. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Um, sure, just for simplicity's sake, uh, I'll say you bonk him on the, to, on the back of the head and he falls face first on the ground. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What'd you do that for? Says Miku. He was gonna get himself in trouble, like, bringing his comrades. Better to just neutralize him for a while. Um, sure, but... Are we just going to carry around a, an unconscious body through the city? Crap, I didn't <laughs> even think about that, huh? <laughs> Crazy. We could, I guess. Or if not, we could, like, have him sit propped up against the church. <laughs> Does anyone have an empty bottle, maybe? Like, <laughs> just place it in his hand. Or we could, like, stuff him into a tree, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just oh my God. For keep <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Ilona, give me a sneaky, and Miku will assist you because he will like help you either with like placing uh, the guy just right with a bottle in his hand or stuffing in a tree or whatever. I think it would be Seriously? like <laughs> since we were uh, carrying him, like he couldn't walk by himself. Uh, I guess we would just continue carrying him, maybe. Oh, you're just taking him him throughout the city. Is that yeah. your plan? Okay. No, no, no. Like, I'm, I'm checking up with the other people first, but, like, that could be an idea. I uh, mean, I think Angel could carry him. <laughs> we could still stuff a bottle in his hand. <laughs> but Angel could yeah. carry him on his back <laughs> or something. <laughs> I have yeah. the perfect bottle of alcohol for that, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. It's <laughs> all coming it. together. <laughs> we, we even have um, two, actually. One is uh, unopened and one is opened and sealed back up. Oh. This is perfect. Like mm-hmm. we just have um, like two of us under his shoulder, and I guess we could close his hand around the <laughs> bottle with our hands. Make sense? Yeah, yeah that so it doesn't sense. drop. <laughs> Dude, this is so perfect. Like everything is lining up right now. Yeah. Oh my god, so funny though. Okay. Give I mean, me. he's going to be mad when he wakes up, but... Hello, yeah. mad. <laughs> but he's awake. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, give me another sneaky with Miku assisting and who else is carrying him? I guess Angel? I don't know. Didn't you say you were going to the market? Oh, right. 
So I guess not. <laughs> okay. Um, roll, roll this sn your sneaky Ashen. Elon, uh, Ashen, yeah, Elon, yeah. Okay. So with a plus one from Miku, and I, I'm guessing another one from Moonen. Uh, yeah. That's a six. So like anyone like inspecting Jean's unconscious body will have to beat a six to realize something's wrong. Oh yeah, this <laughs> is <So> good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I leave it to you guys. Would you guys like to do the um, Angel retrieving uh, Joseph and Moonen and Ilona retrieving the book now, or should we leave that for next time? Mm, um, I'm fine with leaving it like this for now. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm probably the same. I, I'm fine either way. I mean, I don't know. Hmm. whatever you guys choose. Up to you. At the end of the yeah. day. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind sort of leaving it here for now. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay, hmm. okay. Sure thing. Um, that's a trick question. It, allow it allows me more time to think up of, like, difficulties to throw in your way. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> but the choice has been made, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Though, funnily enough, you could just, like, decide at the beginning of the next session... Screw those books. Screw Joseph. We're just leaving. <laughs> good, we could. I'm not leaving this. Moonen's not leaving those books behind. <laughs> also, yeah, you have to. Assuming your plan is still to like go to the capital to speak to the prince, you have to head to the east side of the of the city, retrieve the books, and then head all the way to the west side to leave. Yeah. Fun. Oh shit! Fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the the book was like the tree was it on the east side. Yeah, where I, the I don't, I don't where remember. the where the men's monastery was. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of yeah. It, exactly. it was around here. It was around yeah. here, and you. Oh, need, okay. And you need to okay. head here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what happens. Um, also, part of the reason I won't allow you, uh, I didn't allow Moon in to like instantly decrypt the letter is because I forgot to actually write the letter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes sense that there's going to be some time to decrypt it, decrypt it anyway. So sure, sure. Yeah. Like, I know the general idea. I just don't know like the specifics and all that. But sure. Yeah. That's Are we awesome. actually gonna make like a, a big cipher? <laughs> I'm not gonna do the cipher part. I'm just gonna do like the final product. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, if if you want, I can do the like cipher part and make a mini game out of it, but it'll be convoluted and probably not very fun. I think that's a bit too much work to ask for, and we, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not necessary. And also, I, I don't have, like, any books on me on, like, the ciphers of this part of the world in that century. I'd have to, like, go to a library and do some research. Complicated. I mean... <laughs> oh, my God. No, we let Moon and do it in the background. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on this session? It was really fun today. I enjoyed it. A lot of drama, a lot of unexpected events. Yeah, a lot of action. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, a lot of people decided to message me at this time, so that's why I <laughs> like forgot my train of thought. But yeah, okay, it was fun. That's what you guys said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was also uh, fun for uh, fun for me as well. Um, like part of the reason why i asked you all should we like uh do the market and retrieval thing right now um is that i was thinking we maybe we could end the session on you guys leaving the city uh but we can also like do it next time which does lead and get give me more time to think of of like obstacles to throw in your path so that should be fun it should be fun indeed mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah 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 um 
but other than that, uh, yeah, good on you, good on you, Ashen, for remembering the healing thingy, uh, and good on that priest for rolling a critical success. Um, <laughs> yeah, good on him. <laughs> yeah, I will say like um, the priest had to roll a plus two. If you had gone to the nun monastery, it would have been a plus three, as well as for the other monastery, a plus three. Make sense? Okay. Mm. That makes sense. Mm. And the difficulty would have been four. So there's that. But yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Um, looking forward to seeing... <laughs> Funnily enough, there's a bunch of other stuff in this city like that you guys haven't touched upon but now you're on kind of a time limit so i guess you won't be touching up them upon them at all so fun things mm -hmm. maybe I mean, you, still made time. So, you made so much trouble i don't know yeah <laughs> you can stick around all right everyone <laughs> yeah um like when I was kind of happy when uh, Moon and Angel were heading to the monastery and Jean said, oh, I'm not going to go visit these charlatans. I was really happy that you didn't like insist on bringing him along because I knew he would make trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm going to roll the dice to see in which order I'll ask you all to shout yourselves out. In. Um, meanwhile, do you all have any other thoughts? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, thank you again for um, DMing like these sessions. I, it was a good uh, today. Was a good one. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And thank you all for participating. If if there's nothing else, thank you again, dear viewers, for watching and listening to us. I wrote some dice in the background. The dice have decided that good old Delhi, whom I have been calling Delhi Raf all this time, when I just like jumped into one of his stream, well, their streams, sorry again, the other day, and they said, "Oh, I'm not using Delhi Raf anymore, so I won't be saying Delhi Raf. You're just Delhi. Delhi, talk about yourself." Okay. <laughs> um, so, hello. Uh, I, of course, I am Delhi. Um, so, I am a goblin VTuber uh, over on Twitch.tv. Uh, and I stream variety, so I play, you know, any, like anything that I'm feeling like at the time. Uh, currently, by the time this episode will have been out, I think recently I'm playing stuff like Skyrim Anniversary Edition and like Power Washer Simulator. <laughs> um, and I love having new people in the chat, so feel free to sort of come over and say hi. And Delhi's a very entertaining streamer. They're definitely awesome. Do check do check them out. Um, I sometimes tune to Delhi's stream just to, like have it in the background. I'm I don't talk very often in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's uh, when you do though, it's it's nice. So uh, thank you either way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you again, Delhi. Next, according to the dice, would be Show and Tell. Could you please go ahead and talk about uh, yourself and what you're doing, etc., etc.? Hi, I'm Show and Tell. I have a YouTube channel on back to anime and at some point other stuff as well. And um, you're free to. Free. You're welcome to join <laughs> if you want. That's your day. Oh, other stuff. Um, you don't have to answer it, but do you care to go into a bit more detail? Oh, just I mean, I watch, I react to Patreon, and I hope that one at one point I will be able to get to editing them for YouTube. So there are a lot of shows, <laughs> like American shows. I just started Arcane actually on Patreon, but oh, awesome, awesome, yeah. nice, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Joel, and so. And next we have Ashen. Can you please go ahead and talk about yourself and what you're doing? Hello, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm Ash. Uh, sometimes I draw stuff, so you can go to my Instagram if you like that. And I also highly recommend both Show and Tells and Delish channel. They're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, Ashen. 
and I was your Dungeon Master, Game Master Turnor. I do this series, and I do another series that's set in the Warcraft universe. That's also a lot of fun. We recently did a crossover thingy for April Fools, because uh, this is posted in the future after April Fools, even though we are recording in the past. Fun stuff. Convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And uh, do check that out. It was a lot of fun, if very chaotic and nonsensical. But yeah, <laughs> other than that, uh, thank you once again, dear viewers, for watching and listening to us. We shall be back next week, and we'll see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.